you do not want them to cut corners. Pilots, for example, use a checklist to do a pre-flight inspection before every flight. 99 times out of 100, everything checks out okay. But it is the pre-flight inspection that contributes greatly to safe air travel. It's the operator's responsibility to inspect the lift truck before the beginning of each shift and keep a written record. At times, this task may seem unimportant. However, 6.1% of accidents are caused by improper maintenance procedures. The objective of the inspection is to look for damage and to make sure the truck is in safe operating condition and meets the manufacturer's specifications. A good place to begin an inspection is at the fuel source. In the case of an electric truck, start at the battery. With a propane truck, begin with the liquid propane cylinder. Make sure the locating pin is in place and the pressure relief valve is pointing upwards. Check the fuel level. Don't take a chance on running out where it is dangerous to refuel. Check the connectors and hoses. Then, listen, smell, and look for leaks. Frosting will indicate even the smallest leak. Be careful. Touching this with your bare hands can cause a serious frost burn. Check the cylinder tie-down latches to make sure the propane cylinder is secure. Open up the engine cover and inspect the engine compartment and fluid levels. Check the battery, the engine oil, transmission fluid, the fan belts and hoses. It's important that they are not frayed or worn. Check the brake fluid reservoir, hydraulic oil level, the radiator coolant. And finally, inspect the air filter. A dirty filter can increase harmful or poisonous exhaust gases. Close the engine cover and secure the propane cylinder. Next, Inspect the tires and wheels on the right side of the truck. Ensure the overhead guard is in good shape. Are the lug bolts present and tight to the touch? If not, call for repairs. Loose or missing lug bolts can cause damage to the truck or injure someone. Remember, do not operate the lift truck until repairs are made. Are there chunks of tire missing? cuts or objects embedded in the tires. How about wire, plastic strapping, string or foreign objects lodged in behind the wheel? These can cause costly damage or serious injury. If you're inspecting a truck with pneumatic tires, check the air pressure as outlined in the operator's manual. An underinflated tire will lean the truck to one side and will decrease stability. Notice that when the load is being lifted, it is actually moving away from the center of the truck. It wouldn't take too much to tip this truck over. Examine the mast and forks. The forks must be level. Look for excessive wear or cracks in the hanger welding or in the heel. The forks must be evenly spaced and the fork pins locked into place. Equal tension in the lift chains is important. This will prevent uneven lifting. Verify that the chain is well lubricated. Inspect the hydraulic tilt cylinders and lift cylinders. They must be free from leaking hydraulic fluid. Inspect the hoses around the mast. This is where leaks often start. Make sure the mast channel is free of foreign objects, such as pieces of wood or wire. Complete a thorough examination of the wheels and tires on the left side of the truck. To start the engine, make sure the parking brake is on. Listen for any unusual noises as the engine warms up. Pull the lift lever and fully raise and lower the forks to ensure free movement of the mast.
Once the forks have been lowered, test the side shifter or any attachments if installed. Tilt the mast back and forth, making sure all hydraulic movements are smooth and operational. Release the parking brake and drive forward or reverse about 20 feet in total, ensuring the steering and brakes are working properly. Check the brakes. The brake pedal must not reach the floorboard. If it does, the brakes are not functioning properly and the truck should be taken out of operation until repaired. When finished, turn off the engine and apply the parking brake. Look under the truck to check for any oil leaks. Oil patches can cause serious injury to pedestrians. Next, inspect the horn, lights, and gauges. Observe pedestrian warnings and any other electrical systems your truck might have. A lift truck cannot be put into service until it has a legible manufacturer's nameplate securely fastened. Make sure the seat belt is not frayed or torn and that it latches properly. All safety labels and instructions must be in place and readable. The overhead guard and load backrest extension are important safety features. Make sure they are in place and secure. Finally, complete and file an operator checklist and report any defects to your supervisor in writing. If you're on the job and notice that your truck is unsafe to operate, park it and tag it out of operation. Report specific problems to your supervisor. Remember, Failure to do this could cause injury to yourself and to the employees working around you.